among the high rises are glimpses of the past, dating back to the 17th century in Flushing. The Quaker Meeting House on Northern Boulevard was built in 1694. Flushing is the English translation of the original Dutch name Lissingen. It's arrived from the name of Lissingen, which was a major port in um, the province of Zealand. The Dutch West India Company established the town in 1645, but mostly English farmers settled here. Many were Quakers and they faced persecution for their faith. Quakers worship in silence as they look for a direct experience with God, and there is no ordained leader. Meeting for worship is very particular and somewhat unlike most people are used to in other denominational churches. The Dutch prohibited the Quaker practice, which led to what is called the Flushing Remonstrance, a document written and signed by 30 residents asserting religious rights. The movement picked up steam when John Baum was arrested for allowing Quaker meetings at his home. He eventually won Dutch support and people of all faiths were allowed to practice freely. The joint effort of John Bowne, his involvement with the Quakers, helped an allowance to develop a sense of religious freedom in this country. This rock marks the spot where Quaker founder George Fox preached. There were originally two oak trees here when the land was a part of John Bowne's garden. Across the street, are trees that have stood the test of time. Flushing was one of only five towns when Queens became a county, and it would eventually become a center of horticulture and commercial nurseries. Three big ones. There was Prince's Nursery, that's Prince Street on the other side of Main Street. There was Parsons Nursery, which was the largest one, and Parsons Boulevard is the next street after Bound Street to my right. And there was the Murray Nurseries and a couple of smaller ones most of them memorialized by street names here in Flushing. Living monuments to those nurseries, trees planted here over 300 years ago. In Queens, Rochelle Boone, New York One.